Hello and welcome to Let's Play Alex Kid in Miracle World. Which, if you ask me, is a fucking weird game. Game built in with master systems, if I recall correctly. Anyway, you are this dude whose name is Alex Kid, I believe. And he punches bro blocks and takes the money within. It's a pretty simple, colourful, cutesy platformer sort of thing. That ring is a power up, but I'm not going to use it yet because you need it later. And you kill what I believe are birds, but wow, they look fucking evil now I think about it. Anyway, this is the first level. It's pretty straightforward, you just fall on a hell of a lot. Turn the sound off a bit. Anyway, continue with this mindlessness. Now, those purple question mark blocks usually have the ring in, but if you already have the ring, they have an evil ghost in instead, which kills you instantly. No, I'm not joking. That is how that goes. You notice we're picking up a lot of money. Money is the source of all goodness in this game. It allows you to buy things, surprisingly enough. That purple, pink even, block down there releases the same evil ghost that will come out and kill you. He's a common theme in this game. Anyway, you might ask why I've decided to play this, because it's pretty bad as games go, and I don't even really like it that much, but it's one of the earliest games I can remember having and playing and tearing my hair out over, so what the hell, I figured, might as well give it a shot. Plus I haven't finished it for some time. Surprisingly hard game, I mean you wouldn't think that looking at it, would you? It's very difficult. Yeah, I think Alex's kid is like a monkey or something, because he's got weird... He's got a weird face. It's kind of monkey-ish, I think. I must collect as much money as possible before falling down to the bottom of the level. Whoop! Ah! Yeah, the controls are a bit... iffy. They're quite... loose, if that makes sense. When you're falling in one direction, it's hard to change direction. Ah! Let me get this water section, which is completely arbitrary. Do do. I'm not going in there, that's way too dangerous. You die in one hit from just about everything. What makes this game so hard? It's kind of like I want to be the guy, only a real game. And there's money involved. There we go. There should be a mini boss coming up fairly shortly, and that's not him, although he's a dick as well. Let's not be get our facts wrong there. But we have killed him. We have killed him. And victory re prevails. What the f. Now that is interesting. In the version of the game I had on the Master System, the end of the level was a burger, but in, in this it's a rice ball. Well, fair enough. Yes, the evil ghost is in that brick and we will ignore it. And get the rice ball, and victory is ours. That was the first stage. Pretty simple stuff, huh? And we get to use some of the money we have collected to buy things once again. Now, I want to buy two things here. I want to buy this question mark box. Which I believe makes you temporarily invincible. And we want to buy the motorbike. Because then that makes this next level a hell of a lot more straightforward. You just get to ride the motorbike. Kill enemies instantly by touching them. You can jump. Although you don't really need to. Fuck! And then the bike went. <laughs> and the level became difficult again. The idea, of course, is to jump those yellow. Yellow? What the fuck? I can't even recognize colors now. Red, even. Spears. Oh, okay. Almost met Froggy Death! And instead met Swampy there! Fuck! Expect save state abuse from this game because, it's, as I said, it is mind destroyingly hard. Mind destroying. Yes, you play this game and it's so hard your head will explode. And then how are you going to explain that to the neighbors? You won't. Instead, you will meet Froggy Doom and Scorpion E Doom. We will overcome both of these things by punching them. That is not like a boxing glove or anything, that's Alex Kidd's hand, it's fucking ridiculously huge. And I died again, this is... this is bad, to say the least. Thankfully, you tend not to start too far away from where you died, each time. Whoa! Okay. Froggy Doom, Froggy Doom approaching us. From the north, apparently. Not six missiles this time. Oh no, it's Froggy Doom. Ha! That's what victory feels like. This is the end of the level. You would lose the bike automatically here, because it can't fit down that gap. And would hit the wall anyway, because it's constantly moving forward. And we will encounter the first boss of the game. 
It's a man with, yeah, a fist in the shape of stone for a head. Don't ask. I don't really know. I believe that to win this, it's rock, paper, scissors, basically. To win this, you have to start out with using stone, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's see how that goes. Do 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 Yes, stone is the answer for the first round. Second round is scissors. You might ask how I remember that. Well, you fight three of these guys as the game goes on. Stone head, scissors head, and paper head, shockingly enough. And to beat the first two, I believe you just use their particular head shape first, and then the next one in the sequence after that. Anyway, level three. Another arbitrary water level which everybody hates. Uh, I think that might be an extra life, but don't quote me on that. If it's not, I'm about to lose one. Mm, is it worth the risk? I don't think that it is. So I will just leave and punch some bricks and punch some bricks some more. This is the mini boss I was talking about. He's actually in this level. You have to punch the tentacle out one segment at a time, which means getting the pixel perfect location to do so without touching it, which is very hard. Come on! Punch the damn arm! Punch it now! Am I still missing him? Because that would be quite embarrassing. Right, there we go. Yeah, I'm just going to have to keep punching. Keep punching, Alex Kidd. Alex Kidd, I think, was supposed to be Sega's original mascot. He didn't go down so well. There we go, we killed him. And there is actually a secret level, or at least a secret section, if you go on top of the bowl and hit down a whole lot of times. And you go down to this pit. That, what the fuck? Wow. Uh, that that was the whole game. That was the whole game over thing. Okay. Ah, uh, some clever editing is perhaps needed here. So, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, welcome back. We are here once again, with the fish dead, and with more lives and power-ups and things. I didn't screw up the bike level quite as much, so that was a plus. That's how you use your items. You pause and then you hover over them and press the button. Not really sure what that sun on the left is. I think you might need it for something later in the game, but it's irrelevant now. Let's play the bonus stage. Well, it's not really a bonus stage, but you know what I mean, seemingly. Anyway, you come out of this little area here. Which comes out on a little secret island full of money. Yes, there is nothing but money here. Nothing. Money and death. Death in, and money in equal measure. An enemy is hidden in the grass. And to get up there, you need to do a running jump. And the other problem with Alex Kidd is he has absolutely no fucking traction whatsoever. It takes him a while to stop, which is bad. And we will not allow it. There's an extra life in there, I would very much like to obtain that. However, the problem with that extra life is it's, it's possible to make it impossible to get. You destroy the wrong blocks here. You will see what I mean shortly. To get it, you need to destroy that one, that one, and that one, while leaving this one to stand on, and then get rid of the scorpion. Extra life! Victory! Victory is mine. You will jump and grab this rice ball and eat it! Gloriously. Right, well, I think that'll do for this video. So next time, on Let's Play Alex Kid in Miracle World, no less, we do this level, weird island full of money and death, in the same vein as the secret level. See y'all then!